to understand a cylinder so can you make a cylinder with a piece of paper take a a4 size sheet paper any blank or filled hard limiters and okay switch on the video and show me can you make a cylinder with that without overlapping quickly both of you have to do i think it can be a cylinder because like the top and bottom parts won't be covered so i guess that will be a cylinder but in that case top and bottom won't be covered then what area can i calculate in that and the area of a rectangle i'm not talking about rectangle and i'm talking from a solid perspective quickly show me a uh, cylinder quickly show me once again yes one do not overlap yes yeah so if if i open it what kind of shape i get so like a flat uh, rectangle rectangle very good if i open it i get something like this can you see this yeah. yes ana yes no yes so this is rectangle and rectangle is what part of the cylinder i guess only this part yeah not this not this not top not bottom yes yeah okay so what do we call this part this area when top is and bottom is not included yeah iron when top and bottom are not included what what do we call that area so when uh, so that's just called the lateral surface area right? very good the lateral surface area is called when the shape is made up of straight lines but right now it is curved so it is called curved surface area okay csa making sense which is nothing but lateral surface area what you were saying you are correct understood sana yes so can i say curve surface area of cylinder is actually equals to l into b yes or no of this rectangle can i say that can i say that yes let me just see whether we have some net over here or not so it is something like this yes understood i'm talking about this pink sheet we had this pink sheet yes or no which you showed just now now just yeah. observe the black line black line is the 
What is the black line? The circumference. Uh, no, the rectangular black line. This one. The height. Height of the cylinder. And from rectangle perspective, that black line is. What is that black line? The breadth. Breadth of that angle. So can I say that? I'm trying to derive the formula. Height of the rectangle and breadth of the uh, sorry height of the cylinder and breadth of the rectangle are equal. So I don't know what will come in length, but one thing is sure. Instead of B, can I write H, Aaron? Yes. So now let us talk about this length. Length in terms of cylinder. Let's go back to that shape and try to identify that. I'm just erasing this part for a minute. So that it is clearly visible. Okay, just try to identify the length of the rectangle. What is the length of the rectangle in cylinder? Hmm? Anyone? Tell me. Aaron, any guess? No, sir, I'm trying to figure. See, the black line which is moving right now is the length of the rectangle or not? Yes. So, so will the length of the rectangle be equal to the perimeter of the circle? Yes. Understood. Yes. Can you visualize that now? Yes. So can I say it is a circumference of the circle? So length is equals to the circumference of the circle. this. So what is the circumference of the circle formula? Aaron? Sir, so uh, it's 2 pi r. Very good. So can I put that? 2 pi r? Yes, sir. So what is the final formula for my CSA? of cylinder. Anyway. Two pi R H. How did you find it? Easy? Difficult? Yes enough? Our surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h. Making sense? Yeah. So let's talk about quickly total surface area of cylinder. What do you mean by total surface area now? It means this part plus this part plus this part. So what should I do? Can I do lateral surface area plus circle area plus circle area? That means multiply by 2. Can I do that? Please say yes, no, any doubt. So lateral surface area is 
टू पाई आर एच वॉट इज द सर्कल एरिया है ना एरिया सर्कल and in the first we get h and in the second we get r 2 by r r plus h so actually people learn it like this 2 by r r plus h you will find this formula in your textbook either you can learn this type also but this will take longer calculation this will reduce your calculation time Did you understand, Aaron? The formula of TSA of cylinder. Yes, I understood. So I know this one. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed uh, the derivation of the formula also. If there is any doubt, you can ask now. Yes, Anna. Uh, no doubt. Aaron, what about you? I don't have any doubts. Okay. So as of now, we have done cuboid, cube, cylinder, and in this, we have done only TSA total surface area and LSA, which is known as curved surface area. Also, these two things. One thing is remaining volume that we will do in the next class. Okay, but this thing is enough. For you to do the next exercise, okay. So if you open your book, all the activity which I did is already there in the textbook. If you really want to go through it again, you can go through. Can you see that the activities are there in the book itself? I'm not teaching anything new. Can you see this? Yes, sir. Okay, it's just that all you need to do is open the book and read. Okay, apart from that, you need to start doing exercise eleven point three. This full exercise is your homework. Okay, that's it for today. Do you want to copy that part? If you want to copy, just copy. copy, and then we can leave the class.